These black and white photographs are much more than just artistic shots. They make up a photographic biography of St. Gregory the Illuminator. This exhibit in Rome shows both his life and his deeds. There are so many St. Gregories uh, in, in the Catholic Church, but uh, the surprise will be to discover the Armenian St. Gregory. The Armenian St. Gregory is remembered for his role in converting the nation to Christianity back in the year 301. In fact, Armenia became the first nation in the world to adopt Christianity as its official religion. But getting to that point wasn't easy. During a pagan ritual, the king discovered that Gregory was Christian. As punishment, he was tortured and sent to this underground well where he lived for over a decade. And after miraculously healing the king, he was set free. After uh, he was released, he uh, baptized the Armenian king uh, and turned Armenia Christian. A church was built near Mount Ararat, on the site where he was imprisoned, and now it's one of the most popular pilgrimage sites. In fact, there's a statue of St. Gregory in the Vatican, on the exterior wall of St. Peter's Basilica. Back in the year 2000, John Paul II donated some of St. Gregory's relics to Armenian Catholicos. There is a second part of the exhibition which concentrates on the uh, dissemination of his relics, the uh, presence of St. Gregory in Constantinople, in Rome, in Nardò, and so on. With this exhibit, the Armenian Embassy to the Holy See is not only celebrating the legacy of St. Gregory, but also a new chapter in its diplomatic relations with the Vatican. In the summer of 2013, Armenia issued its first resident ambassador to the Holy See. It's a connection that, in a way, traces back its roots to the evangelization and legacy of St. Gregory the Illuminator.